what do public policies and private business strategies actually consist of? Painting it in very broad brushes, you can distinguish among only two kinds of interventions, positive feedback and negative feedback. One kind of positive feedback, for example, follows the logic that if you have money in your bank account and you earn a fixed percentage interest rate, you have at the end more money in your bank account. Now with more money in your bank account with a fixed percentage, you earn more interest rate and with more interest rate, you have even more money in your bank account. So the logic is here, this positive runaway dynamic, more leads to more, leads to more, leads to more. Now positive feedback is also that if you have money in your bank account and you have to pay a fixed rate fee. With that, you have less money in your bank account and if you pay a, a 1% fee, you have to also pay less fee next round because you have less money in your bank account. With that, you even have less money in your bank account, you have to pay less fee. But basically what you do here is you run it down. You run it basically down to zero. So both of these runaway dynamics are positive feedback. What then is negative feedback? Negative feedback, for example, follows the following logic. It stabilizes the system's dynamic. So for example, if you have the price of something and the price is too high, you might not have a lot of demand because not many people can buy it. What do you do then if you don't have a lot of demand? Well, you have to lower your price a little bit. And if you lower your price a little bit, demand rises. Now, if demand rises, you can say, oh, many people want my product, so I lift up my price again. Now, if you lift up your price again, not so many people might buy. So you have like a more leads to less and less leads to more dynamic. You basically stabilize the price over time. Another example of negative feedback would be, for example, if you have a certain temperature in a room and the temperature gets too low and with that you start an automatic heater and the heater then heats up the temperature in the room. If the temperature gets too high, the heater might either stop and or even the air condition might kick in. And with that, the temperature will lower again. Once it's too low, the heater might set in again. So you have this also, less leads to more, more leads to less dynamics. You basically stabilize the variable that you have in mind. So positive feedback means a runaway dynamic. You either put oil into the fire and you blow up the fire, or you put water into the fire and, and try to completely, completely dis extinguish it. Negative feedback means that you try to stabilize it. So you sometimes put a little oil and you put a little water, a little oil, you try to keep it in, in a middle value. So that's positive feedback, negative feedback. And that's basically all you can do with a systems dynamic, including social systems, what we are talking about. Let's look at two examples relevant for our field of digitalization. For example, if you have a lot of training, you increase your chances of winning a scholarship, right? Now, if you get a scholarship, you have more training, which then increases your chances of getting a better scholarship, which then increases your training. So this is a positive runaway dynamic. On the other hand, if you have started off with very little training, you might not have so many chances of winning a scholarship, which means you have less training, with that you have less chance of winning, and it's like kind of like, you know, the way down. It, it's, it goes downwards, less becomes less, becomes less, becomes less. An example of negative feedback would be, for example, if you have a lack of IT professionals, you would make available a lot of scholarships. With a lot of scholarships, you will create more IT professionals. And you have, if you have too many IT professionals, it maybe doesn't make sense to provide more scholarships. So you tune that down and you need exactly, again, it's a logic of supply and demand here, the right amount of IT professionals. So you try to keep it in the middle. So here you have two examples about something very similar. Both have to do with scholarship. The difference being one is an example of positive feedback, a runaway dynamic. You either get more leads to more leads to more or less leads to less leads to less. And the other one is an example of negative feedback where you stabilize the system's dynamic. And that's basically all you can do with a systems dynamic. You either want a lot or you want nothing or you want some. So these are the two basic categories of interventions, positive and negative feedback.